hot in the old town tonight. Hey Spencer, what's happening? I don't know if you can hear that. Looks like we got some rambunctious youngins somewhere out there. Setting off fireworks. Our house backs up to a abandoned golf course. It's been abandoned since 2015. And they go out there and do whatever and they're out there somewhere lighting off fireworks. Being mischievous. Uh, we just do uh, eight frame medium boxes. We tried deeps once, but uh, it's just too much. Hold up. I just heard a deer snort. These kids don't know out here that I got military grade technology. So. <laughs> All right. Purpose and function of this live stream, as you know from the title, is. Uh, I have an announcement to make about the July webinar, which the month of July is now upon us. Um, I've uh, decided that I'm sorry. All of a sudden, stuff starts popping off in the neighborhood. The neighbor just uh, came out to look and see what's going on. I think their pool filter's acting up. Their pool filter's causing a ruckus. Violating the peace and tranquility of the neighborhood. That could be a correct sentence structure trespass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I've reached capacity now of how many people I wanted to attend. So that's closed now. I got all the people that I need, plus some surplus. Of course, if any members of this channel would like to attend, I will make room for them. I will either kick somebody out or just add them to it. I'm looking at the latter part of July, like the last two weeks, and it's probably going to be in the afternoon, Eastern Standard now space, Eastern Standard time, around 1400, 1500 hours. And that is for the consideration of the many New Zealand and Australian students that I have, which I have a lot of people from down there. A lot of interest down in that area. 
sort of, uh, I guess some of them are uh, renegades from the Purple Thumb community. You know, they thought they were <clears throat> buying into something that was true and good and and honest and and for the people. And then they found out something else. They found out maybe that it's not about the people and the betterment of mankind. It's more about the almighty dollar sign. So they're looking for something else. And uh, some of them also, there are, <laughs> I guess, what they like to call themselves, they like to call themselves postmasters. Some po A group of postmasters down there. And they were given that name by uh, the Colin Russell hyphen J. Colin Gould contingent. They like to call their people postmasters, which, I mean, I guess it, you know, it is a cool title to have if you're into titles and stuff like that. But if you autograph over a stamp, you're a postmaster. Anybody can be a postmaster. It, it doesn't take much to be a postmaster. You just have to have the capacity to carry a piece of mail from point A to point B. <laughs> so anyways, that's the announcement. Uh, last two weeks in July is when I'm looking for, to do the, sem the webinar. It should be a good one. I've, uh, without, without giving away too much, I've been being contacted by, uh, a lot of people who are very disgruntled with the Russell J. Gould group of people, the Syntax Learning Center and that whole sham, or should I say scam. where they invest this money in a live life claim, they get promised all this stuff, and then when they try and follow up on it, um, they're met with silence, or they're met with people who don't know anything. And by people, I mean Joey John Lester, I mean Muriel Mita Biggs, I mean Rachel Dara Prince, I don't know what they do over there, how they do things, it seems very chaotic and haphazard to me and ridiculous. People just be getting ripped off over there, left and right. And people keep buying into it. You know, it's your choice. If you want to go over there, I've put out video after video after video after video telling people, warning people about the pitfalls of getting mixed up in that bullshit over there with Russell J. Gould. But people still do it. It's their choice. I know of people from almost two decades ago who gave Russell weight in silver and gold to help them with a court case and Russell just ghosted them, took their gold and silver and vanished. Why do you think that is? Think about it for a minute. Okay, I'm going to have to close this up and put this down. Uh, my fire is uh, becoming unruly. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments. I will answer them. All right, so... The, uh, the main purpose and function of this live stream was to announce that the July webinar has reached capacity, which I'm pretty happy about. If there are any channel members out there that still want to attend, go ahead and send me an email with your correct name, credentialing yourself as a member, and I will make room for you, whether I have to kick somebody out or just add you on. I don't mind. Uh, the webinar will probably, it will be scheduled sometime in the last two weeks of July. Cognition, 
for the cognition of the character is with the questionable stance by the claimant. For the claimant of the questionable stance is with the character by the cognition. Spencer, when you, uh, just taking your correct sentence structure, which I do understand is in parentheses, I do understand that, but you are using correct sentence structure in that, in those, uh, in those parentheses. So what you're saying, especially when you read it backwards, is that whoever the claimant is, which we don't know who the claimant is, because uh, you have not credentialed a claimant, the claimant has a questionable stance um, for the cognition. Whose cognition? I don't know whose cognition. I guess the claimant's cognition of the character. What character? Whose character? We don't know who you're talking about here. Is with the questionable stance by the claimant, and then you're saying that the claimant has a questionable stance. There's a question about the way the claimant is standing. So just keep that in mind when you're putting out correct sentence structure. It's very precise not meant for quick casual uh comments or anything like that it's very meticulous uh, type of grammar i want to i can't stress that enough it's not meant for quick communications not really not not in my position but anyways let me read the rest of what you said here i would question the person's character and their ability to trust and be cognizant of other vessels Um, well, the type of person that I am and how, you know, I've dealt with hundreds and literally hundreds of people over the last five plus years. I'm a pretty good judge of character. And the person I'm sharing the story about, I would say that their character is one of being a little bit too trusting, a little bit too trusting of someone selling fairy tales. And who isn't guilty of that? I mean, I certainly am. Um, a few years ago, I'll just share this right now. There was a course online uh, from a community called Abundantia. Abundantia, I think is the name. And uh, they had a course about personal freedom, learning about international banking, and investing in gold and property and things like that. And it was like for over a thousand bucks. And then they advertised a lifetime membership, lifetime access to the course for 500 bucks for half off. And I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. And this was like a, a couple years ago. And uh, so I bought it. Lo and behold, less than two years later, the company folds and they don't give any refunds out because they said, when they claimed, when they advertised a lifetime membership, they didn't mean the lifetime of the customer. They meant the lifetime of the business, and the business is over. Less than two years, so the lifetime of the business. So you see the misleading advertising and the way that they presented themselves, I just automatically thought, wow, these are good people. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> so it, it can happen to anybody. It can really happen to anybody out there. So thank you very much for joining me, those of you who did. I appreciate it. Remember, the July webinar has been filled up to capacity. There are no more spots available. However, if you are a member, I will make room for you. And it will be scheduled for the last two weeks of July, somewhere in there. And I will be sending out the email very soon with the exact time and date, which will probably be between 14 and 1500 hours. Eastern Standard Time. I was talking about the handler of RJG and how she's commercializing things about RJG. Well, yes, but that is an assumption, isn't it, Spencer? You didn't put any of that into your correct sentence structure. And correct sentence structure is about closure. You didn't say who the claimant was. You didn't say who the character was. You didn't say anything like that. If someone coming in and was not listening to what I was saying, just read that, they would have no idea what you're talking about. And so you have to put it in the context of like a document contract postal visit court venue. And since there isn't one of those right now, you would have had to put something in like, for this claimant's knowledge of the facts is with this claim, 
of the perception with the character of the Russell J. Gould's handler, comma, space, Rachel Dar Prince, blah, 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 blah. You would have to put a lot in there, a lot of details in there to be correct. Because there is nothing lazy or casual about correct sentence structure, and I highly recommend that people do not do that. If you're just going to communicate something like that, just do it in plain English. Because to me, the language is, the grammar is sacred. And it's not meant to be used in a lazy, casual type of sense. It's very formal. And I personally like to keep it like that. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, friends and neighbors, I am not picking on Spencer by any stretch of the imagination. Spencer is a spiritual sovereign. He is a, a diligent student. He is highly advanced in his correct sentence structure knowledge. Um, and I have much honor and grace for the man, especially for everything he does over there by the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> so thank you very much, everyone. I appreciate everybody joining me. And uh, hopefully I will see you at the July webinar. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.